the most important thing about health is this this row, uh, which actually assign the five elements to our internal organ. Uh, we have five vital organs. Uh, so the most important thing is to remember this five element where we send five organ. Metal is your lung. Fire is your heart. Water is your kidney. Wood is liver. And earth is the stomach. So therefore, these are the five most important organs, and they are each related to these five elements. And then, when the idea of Chinese medicine is, when all the elements are in good balance, you are in good health. But when some of the elements get out of balance, you have problem in that area. Uh, what do you mean by out of balance? Uh, so a lot of people say, uh, you are lacking fire. Not only lacking fire is out of balance, too much fire also our balance. Uh, our balance means uh, you listen carefully. Something you need, you don't have. Uh, for example, you need fire. This year 2009 has no fire at all. So therefore, some people get in the problem with the heart. Uh, you remember uh, Nicolas Sarkozy? Uh, Nicolas Sarkozy, the French president, uh, in, the, in the second half of 2009, he's doing exercise and suddenly he felt uncomfortable. Because his heart is weak, because it comes in the winter time, second half of the year. So when your fire, you need fire, but the fire doesn't appear, you have problem with the heart. Uh, so therefore, fire is the heart. But another kind of uh, imbalance is something you don't need. It comes a lot. Uh, for example, uh, you don't need earth, but this year gives you a lot of earth. So therefore, you have cancer. Uh, so earth is something to do with your cells and something very much related to cancer. Uh, so therefore, like Farah Fawcett, uh, you see Farah Fawcett died in the day of the ox. That is ox day. Ox day is earth day. Earth year, earth day. And she has a lot of earth. She's in earth luck. So therefore, all this accumulation of earth, she died of cancer. Uh, so actually, when you look at the imbalance of element, actually you can see what is most likely the cause of sickness. And the thing about Chinese medicine is we call it a holistic kind of medicine. A holistic kind of medicine, what does it mean? It means we look at the body function as a whole. Uh, so Western medicine is more like concentrating on the symptoms, concentrating on part of the, uh, they analyze the part of the body. But the Chinese Medicine, they have the system of the five elements, which link up each organ. Uh, so therefore, uh, how do we link up each organ to understand sickness? i give you some example. Uh, for example, like, uh, very easy. Uh, people have high blood pressure. Uh, so high blood pressure usually is a symptom. But if you go to a Western doctor, they will give you pills. Uh, they will give you pills to suppress the pressure, but that's only suppressing the symptom. But how the Chinese doctor look at high blood pressure? They will give you medicine to treat your kidney. But how do you relate the kidney with high blood pressure? Uh, so the logic is very simple. If you understand the cycle of birth, cycle of destruction. So for example, you look at fire is heart. Uh, so therefore, blood circulation is actually fire element. Uh, heart is the organ pumping your blood. So therefore you have blood circulation is a fire problem. Then when you have high blood pressure, why you have to improve your kidney? Because under normal conditions, uh, under good health, the function of the kidney is to generate the water to control the fire. Uh, you remember the cycle of destruction Water controls fire. So therefore, normal healthy person, the water is sufficient to keep the fire under control. So you don't have high blood pressure. But now, the fire is out of control. Uh, when you see high blood pressure, it means the fire is out of control. So why the fire is out of control? Because the water is too weak. Uh, so therefore, simple logic, you cure this problem by improving the water. Improving the water means improving the kidney. So that's the logic of Chinese medicine, because we have this cycle which helps you to relate the organ, and we don't look at 
uh, the, your blood pressure alone. Uh, we, we realize this is because your kidney is weak, cannot generate enough water, so therefore your fire get out of control. Uh, so therefore, that's how Chinese medicine look at the root of health. So I'll give you one more example. Uh, for example, a lot of people in the city, they have problem of sinus, skin allergy. Uh, so how do you treat this? Uh, so when you go to Western doctor, it seems they cannot treat. They give you medicine to dampen your senses. Uh, it's like somebody say, uh, it's like uh, you, you complain the air conditioner is too noisy. Uh, the, the doctor just give you a pair of earplug. You don't hear it. <laughs> so that is not actually curing your sickness. Then, how do we understand this kind of a problem? The first thing is, what is sinus and what is skin allergy? They are actually related to metal element. Uh, so very simple, because metal is your lung, your nose, and also breathing organ. Breathing organ is your skin. Uh, even your skin is a breathing organ. Uh, so remember you see the movie, James Bond movie called Goldfinger. Uh, so they paint the girl with gold and she die because she cannot breathe. Her skin cannot be breathe. So therefore, the, they are all first thing identified as a metal problem. So then, if it is a metal problem, what caused the problem? Uh, it must be fire. Because fire come to attack the metal. Uh, the cycle of destruction, fire conquer metal. So therefore, then it must be something wrong in your blood, because fire is your blood. So therefore, it's your blood which is dirty, carrying toxin, which come to attack your skin. And your skin has an immune system, which is coming into inflammation. Uh, inflammation is actually a reaction of the immune system. So therefore, that is causing irritation. That is what allergy is about. So therefore, the first step you can trace back is the fire attacks the metal. So therefore, something wrong in the fire. Something wrong in the fire means the fire is dirty. Your blood is dirty. Then, and you can trace one step back. Then fire comes from wood. Uh, fire comes from wood. So that is the liver. Uh, liver is wood. So how is the liver related to your allergy problem? Because the liver is the organ that cleans your blood. So if the liver is not functioning, your blood will not be clean. So then it will end up, your blood will irritate your skin. So therefore, it's very simple logic. Therefore, to treat this problem, you have to treat your liver first. Uh, so therefore, to treat sinus and skin allergy, you have to detoxify your liver. If your liver functioning well, your blood will be clean, therefore, the allergy will go away. Uh, so therefore, this is exactly based on the five element logic. You can explain this kind of sickness, and then you can find out where the problem comes from. Uh, so this is exactly the idea of how the five element can be used in expanding health. And the positive thing about this is we know this problem since you are born. <laughs> because you already have a birthday once you are born. But you, uh, the modern people, the problem is most of our sickness is accumulating. Uh, it's called degenerating disease. Degenerating disease usually come from your lifestyle, come from pressure, come from your diet. And it slowly, slowly accumulate in your body like cancer. Uh, cancer doesn't come all of a sudden. Uh, it's a slowly, slowly the free radicals attack your cells and eventually it becomes cancer. So therefore it takes a long process. But today the problem is when the symptom comes up, you go to see a doctor, already late. Uh, you, when you go to see a doctor, doctor says, ah, you go to the examination, x-ray, then it comes out, oh, it's already late. So therefore, we need to prevent. Uh, so therefore, that's why uh, a lot of money is spent in cure is, is, is wrong. Everybody now recognize we should spend more money on prevention. And how do you prevent? Uh, the signal is in, actually in your birthday. Uh, when your birthday shows certain imbalance, and your birthday you get it at the time you're born. As at the time of a newborn baby, we already see, ah, oh, this person is lacking water. So therefore, he should be careful with 
uh, kidney. So therefore, therefore he can, based on his lifestyle, his diet, you have time to adjust yourself to achieve balance. So therefore, this will minimize the chance of having this kind of terminal illness. Especially cancer prevention is very easy uh, to achieve by looking at the person's earth element. Uh, because earth element actually is the cause of cancer. Why? Because earth is your cells. Uh, in this table, we say earth is your stomach, and the stomach is actually your muscles. <laughs> the stomach digests food, becomes your muscles, muscles is cells. So therefore, usually we detect when people have excessive amount of earth, they have cancer. Uh, so therefore, how do you prevent this? You have to take precaution long before it occurs. Uh, because we can, in your uh, birthday, actually we can see what is the most critical time. Uh, before the critical time comes, you can do something to achieve balance, to make sure minimizing the chance of sickness. 